Welcome back. Uh, this is another segment on uh, National Health Association Pharmacy Technician Exam Preparation. Basic overview. This is lesson one, part four. In this section um, of the pharmacy department reference sources we will be looking at um, different publications that are used in the pharmacy department stores at the end of this lesson um, the student will learn to differentiate between pharmacy department reference sources that is to differentiate between different publications that I also used in the pharmacy department. It is essential for every pharmacy department to have reference sources on hand to verify medication information. Various state boards of pharmacy may require your pharmacy department to keep certain references on hand at all times. Pharmacy literature is divided into three types. One is primary, sec primary, two is secondary, and the third one is tertiary. The primary literature includes original reports of clinical trials published in professional journals. Secondary literature consists of reference works and search engines. Tertiary literature encompasses textbooks based on primary literature. Package inserts. Package inserts is uh, one of the pharmacy reference um, sources. Um, complete labeling and dispensing information must accompany all prescription medications from the manufacturer. Because prescription medications require more information than can be included on the label, a detailed package insert is either attached to the container itself or is placed inside the package. This information uh, on the package is written for pharmacists and prescri prescribers and is usually not intended to be given to patients. Package inserts include product description, indication for use, Contraindications, warnings, precautions, adverse reaction, dosage and administration. In the next few slides, I will address each of these inserts separately. Product description, the active ingredients, chemical name and formula, and characteristics of the product are placed in this section. Indications for use, a description of conditions the medication may be used to treat is explained uh, in this insert. Contraindications. In this package inserts, circumstances under which the medication should not be used um, are identified. Warnings. The uh, warning inserts is uh, a description of extreme side effects given certain conditions and special circumstances. 
precautions um, information on this package insert is also similar to the one found on the warnings but uh, they are not as severe um, the following issues are covered in uh, precautions one it describes side effects that might be seen or expected but are not usually life um, threatening it also lists conditions of diseases for which special care must be taken when prescribing the product um, also it notes interactions with other medications uh, also, it gives you one warns against possible tissue changes, impairment of fertility, or possible birth defects in pregnant or nursing women. Another insect is um, called the adverse reaction. This insect describes um, unknown side effects and uh, laboratory tests with which this medication may not may interfere may also include statistics describing the percentage of the population that experiences this side effects the next insert uh, package insert on this section is uh, called the uh, dosage and administration uh, this particular literature discuss correct doses for condition the medication may be used to treat and for various and other conditions or circumstances including administration to children or elderly patient or patients with reduced liver or kidney function patients inserts on the last slides uh, we talked about the package insert that is not for patients uh, just like the name says on this patient insert this is a literature that is actually given to the patients um, much of the same information contained in the package insert will be repeated in the uh, patients package insert provided by the manufacturer only in a form that is easier for a non-medical person to understand um, patients package inserts are required to accompany some medications uh, such as oral contraceptives Accutane Premarine and uh, metered dose inhalers United States Pharmacopoeia National Formulary, uh, popularly known as USP-NF. This is uh, another literature that is uh, found or used in the pharmacy department. Um, the USP-NF defines the standards for medications. The publication contains official titles of medications, standard for strength, purity, packaging, and labeling, procedures for proper handling and storage, and formulas for manufacture or preparation. Another literature uh, publication to use in the pharmacy department is uh, the United States Pharmacopoeia Drug Information, uh, popularly known as USP-DI. This publication is uh, available in two sections. Uh, the first one is USP-DI Advice for Patients. 
and the second one is the USB dash GI for healthcare professionals. I will discuss uh, each of them individually in the next slides. USP dash DI advice for patient. Um, this is a reference book which contains easy to understand information about prescri prescription medications for the non medical person. That is, uh, it shows how to take medications, what the medication will do, and the medication side effects. Many pharmacists, department uh, stores keep the patient version of the USP-DI at the checkout counter so patients can learn about their medications. Uh, some pharmacy stores will photocopy appropriate pages for their patients to take home with them. USP DI for the healthcare professionals. Um, this documentation has more detailed technical information. Um, it is designed to be used by a pharmacist or other medical personnel. It contains information similar to drug facts and comparisons. Uh, such as dispensing and prescribing information, interactions, allergies, warnings, and side effects. Other publications found in the pharmacy stores, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, various publications uh, one at a time. The first one I'm going to talk about is drug facts and comparisons uh, known as DFC. Uh, this book also available as a computer software program is an encyclopedia of medications that contains many facts about product groups and individual products and make comparisons among them. Uh, it contains complete dispensing and prescribing information interactions, allergies, warnings, indications for use, and side effects. It also lists whether products are description or non-prescription medications. If a medication is a controlled substance, drug facts and comparison will indicate its schedule. It also contains relative price comparison for drug products. The other one is uh, the American Hospital Formulary Service Drug Information, uh, known as AHFS-DI. The AHFS-DI is a cornerstone in pharmacy practice and medication due to critically evaluated, evidence-based, and comparative collections of drug monographs on practically every single drug entity available in the United States. Originally developed by the American Society of Hospital Pharmacists to assist each hospital, pharmacy, and therapeutics committee in selecting the most cost-effective treatment for various health conditions. It has become a widely used source of complete drug information, including descriptions, usage, dosage, and administration, caution, drug interaction, chemistry and stability, and toxicity. The information is submitted by member of the National Institute of Health, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and uh, various other healthcare organizations. The next uh, <coughs> literature we want to talk about is a uh, physician's Dex reference PDR. The PDR is a listing of over 4,000 current brand and generic drugs with description and information on their usage, warnings, drug interaction, category, and more than 2,000 full-size color photos. It is um, an annual updated reference and is considered 
the standard prescription drug information source by physicians. Uh, the next one is approved drug products with therapeutic e equivalent evaluations, commonly called the Orange Book. FDA's approved drug product with therapeutic equivalent evaluations is a list of all FDA approved prescriptions and over the counter drug products rated for safety and effectiveness, as well as bioequivalents. It is the basis for generic product evaluation and selection used by pharmacists. The other book is called the uh, Handbook on Injectable Drugs. The Handbook on Injectable Drugs is the key reference used in hospital or home infusion setting. The information provided is based on the result of primary research of retinal drug stability and compatibility. This book discusses um, storage requirements and general stability information, including pH, freezing, exposure to light, and repackaging information. It also provides key product data, including common size, strength, volume, and dosage form. The last uh, literature I want to talk about is the Handbook of Non-Prescription Drugs. The Handbook of Non-Prescription Drugs is the gold standard on self-care and over-the-counter medications. This handbook is not only a textbook for many pharmacy students. It is an essential reference in any community pharmacy. It lists the safety and effectiveness of non-prescription medications, herbal remedies, homeopathic products, nutritional supplements, and home medical equipment. It features brief description of the drug classes, usage, dosing and administration, case studies and patient counseling suggestions. As always, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and trainings. Um, to get extra help or one-on-one -on -one coaching for this test, go to my website um, www.ssteams.com backslash classes.html. Thank you.